What's up guys? I'm Code Gray. Welcome to the channel. So, I bought a microphone. I bought the Sony ECM LV1. Uh, the reason I bought this microphone is to hopefully replace the Purple Panda that I have in my helmet currently. The uh, reason I want to replace it is because Purple Panda is a good microphone, but it is very sensitive. So anything above 45, 50 miles per hour, I tend to pick up a lot of wind noise. Um, so I'm hoping to remedy that with this. Uh, this came highly recommended by uh, Ricky Bobramoto and TJ from Bike Hub. Uh, this isn't going to be an unboxing video. I mean, I'll show you what's in it, um, but it's a microphone. I'm not going to open it and you're going to be like, oh, I've never seen anything like it. Right? So, uh, we'll open it up, check it out real quick. Uh, then I've got the unfortunate task of installing it into the helmet. And uh, if you've done that before, you know what a tedious pain in the butt that is. So, I'm not going to try to film that. Uh, but then we'll get out on the bike, do some tests. I'll show you some footage from uh, low speeds with the Purple Panda versus uh, this. And then uh, I'll get on the highway and uh, do the same thing. Show you some footage at high speeds from the Purple Panda and some footage at high speeds using this. Okay, let's see what we got. Whole lot of paperwork all right there's the mic stereo mic by the way don't know if you can see it but it's got a left and right little clip that I'll have to remove cords not too long looks like not too bad and it does come with a foam dead cat foam muff whatever you want to call it I'll probably add a extra dead cat to it just to be on the safe side but uh, all right, we'll put it together, get in the helmet, see how it goes, see you on the road. All right, so today is a comparison test between the Purple Panda and the Sony ECM LV1. You are currently hearing me on the Sony ECM LV1. Uh, as long as it's recording, you're hearing me, that is. So I recently bought this microphone and uh, Got it installed at the hel in the helmet, and today's test day. So the plan is to give you some uh, comparisons between the Purple Panda and this microphone. Um, now the way I'm going to do it is I will show you clips of some of my previous videos and compare it along to what I'm currently recording. That way. You'll get a side-by-side -side comparison and get a better idea of which one sounds better. All right, so the way we'll start out is my channel intro. Um, I'll throw a clip of my old one, or current one, and uh, throw one at you right now. What's up, guys? I'm Code Gray. Welcome to the channel. What's up, guys? I'm Code Gray. Welcome to the channel. Okay, so the comparisons are going to be this. Um, I'll be doing some low speed comparisons with my visor down and visor up. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any previous footage of me on the bike with my visor up because I never bothered. There was just too much wind noise. And, uh,. I'll also be doing some testing on the freeway. Uh, same deal. Um, visor down and visor up. And also, like before, I do not have any previous footage of me going on the freeway with my visor up. So that'll be new. But it's a test I want to try with this uh, new mic. See how it sounds. All right, so since we are currently at low speeds, let's just 
get started with the testing. We'll start with the visor down. All right, so do I dislike the Purple Panda? No, actually I like the Purple Panda. It's a pretty good, it's a pretty good microphone. I've had pretty good luck with it. Um, but it has a couple of hurdles that are difficult to overcome. Now those hurdles, visor up, those hurdles are its sensitivity. It is a very sensitive microphone. Um, if you do not have it in the right place in your helmet, boy, it picks up a lot of wind noise, even at low speeds. With my Purple Panda, I have to have it <clears throat> just barely sticking out of my cheek pad directly in the middle. If I have it a little too high or a little too low, I get a lot of wind noise. The second hurdle is, again, the sensitivity um, at high speeds. If you notice, almost all of my motovlogs, you usually see me doing 45 miles per hour or under. Now, the reason I do that is because 55 and over, you pretty much can't hear me or barely hear me. Uh, there's just so much wind noise, it's just, it's aggravating. It's, it's not an enjoyable video to watch. Now, granted, this could be due to my helmet. I know of other people that have the Purple Panda and uh, they go on the freeway at higher speeds, slow speeds, visor open or closed, and it sounds good. It could be their helmet, it could be some of their settings that I'm unaware of, um, but I do not have that kind of luck. So I made an intro to this video in my basement, uh, showed you guys the, the microphone that I bought, the Sony microphone, um, and I'm not sure if I like the way it came out, so I'm not positive if I'm going to use it. Uh, if I do use it, this is going to be a little bit redundant, but if I don't, I should mention it now that uh, the reason I, I decided to try the, the Sony microphone, um, it was recommended by two channels, uh, Ricky Bobbermoto and Bike Hub. Uh, Ricky really likes the, the microphone and he's got good audio. Um, TJ from Bike Hub used to have a Purple Panda. Um, he had problems with it. Um, I guess he had to replace it a few times. I've never had to do that with mine. I'm still working on my first one. Um, but apparently he had to replace his. And uh, he got tired of it and decided to go with the Sony. Now he put out a little, little test video and it sounded really good. So, based on their recommendations, I decided to go ahead and give it a try. Um, because who doesn't want to have better audio? As a matter of fact, if you were to ask most creators, they will tell you that uh, audio is more important than video. And, you know, I tend to agree. Um, I don't have to watch a 4K video to enjoy it. Um, but if I'm watching a 4K video and I can't hear the people talking or if it's popping and snapping and crackling and, and you can barely hear what they're saying or uh, they've got their volume all messed up and it's peaking really bad, I may turn it off. That, that just gets annoying after a while. Now before we go any farther into this video, I got to be honest with you guys. This isn't my first test day. Uh, my first test day for this microphone was yesterday. Um, and we have one strike against the Sony so far because after I got home and started to upload the footage onto my computer, I realized I had no audio at all. Nothing. Needless to say, I wasn't too pleased about that. Um, but I'm not going to blame the microphone right away. It could be user error. Um, it might have been my fault. 
Um, the reason I say that is because not only did I not have any audio coming from my microphone, I didn't have any audio coming from the GoPro itself. None. Everything was dead silent. So what I'm thinking might have happened is that I might have partially unplugged uh, something when I was putting my helmet on by accident because you know with the plug part way in that would cancel out both the microphone audio and it will also cancel out the GoPro audio so I'm thinking it was user error so I'm not gonna hold it against the Sony just yet but you gotta know that due to that I'm sweating bullets right now hoping I haven't been talking for nothing now one thing too that I've been finding difficult to do which is another part of this test is talk normally I get my helmet on and I <clears throat> get going down the road and I feel like I've got to raise my voice uh, I'm trying to remember not to do that uh, <laughs> that's a habit that's hard to break okay so we'll do another little comparison since I'm stopped right here um, we'll have the helmet closed you can hear me talking right now so we'll use this portion of it I'll open up my visor a bit <clears throat> and then you'll get some ambient sound hear me talking and right next to it I'll put in a clip from my last video where I was caught in traffic and I was talking about overdressing uh, we'll throw that in right here getting warm I overdressed everybody it said high of 50 yeah well it's a lot warmer than that I'm thinking low 60s mid 60s I overdressed turning around in Annabelle's parking lot that way we could do our highway test This is where I filmed all the uh, the muscle cars versus motorcycle video. Yeah, this is what it looks like dead. <laughs> They're only really open on Saturdays, Sundays, sometimes, but mainly Saturdays. All right, guys, here's the real test. Here I am trying to yell again. Let me bring this my my volume down a little bit. Try to speak normally. Okay. So 70 miles an hour behind the truck. Now you guys know the wind that comes off of one of these trucks. So I'm gonna stay here in its gust and eat its dust. <laughs> um, and see how it sounds. I'm gonna pop the visor open for a little bit. I can't do it too much because at these speeds it drives my eyes out pretty quick. And I just prefer my visor down at these speeds for sure. All right, here we go. All right, visor up. I'm trying to talk normally, try to remember not to yell. Uh, already got something in one eye. Could be an eyelash. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you're making out anything I'm saying right now. All right, visor down. All right. Well, how'd that sound? I'll throw in my comparison right here. If you notice, I'm in my perforated leather jacket today because it's almost 90. If you see me wearing this, it's hot out. Hopefully my camera angle is pretty good. I guess I'll find out when I get home and check the footage. All right, guys, which one do you think sounds better? The old purple panda or the new Sony? Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. But I better wrap this up before my batteries die. All right, guys. I'm Code Gray. I'll catch you guys in the next one.